Welcome back to daytime. We're going to switch things up a little bit and talk to uh, talk about functional pieces crafted from wood. With me right now, Trevor Prevost, owner of Stonewall Wilds, and Matthew Young, artist and woodworker. Welcome to daytime. Thank you for having me. So I think a lot of people at home, uh, and I was one of them, I admit I wasn't quite sure, Stonewall Wilds, do I know that? What is that? Uh, Stonewall Wilds is a two-level uh, functional gallery. We have 100% Canadian handmade artists. Wow. Um, right now we're, we're transitioning the, the space. We're bringing in more wood products. Larger pieces are going in our lower level, bringing in more fine art, more pot more glass and more stuff like that. And so when you say Canadian, all across the country? Uh, it is across the country, but a majority, if not almost all of them, are from the Ottawa area. Even better. I yeah. like I like yeah. promoting extra, extra local. Let's Absolutely. do that. Okay, we got to talk about the bow tie, because yes. as I'm talking to him, I'm like, that's a wood bow tie. This is a wooden bow tie. It's from one of our newest artists. Um, it's uh, Justin Richardson does these. So much fun. I see there's a couple extra on the table there. Yeah. That's adorable. He does these ones, and then we have another artist who does uh, some other ones with the pocket square. Very beautiful. All yeah. right, so now let's talk about you. Sure. So you are part of the of the artists, if I can say that, that you, or things that we can see in the gallery, and you make tables, is that yes, right? Yes, I do. How do you, did you get started? Like, when do you decide, you know what, I'm really good at this, I'm just gonna build a table. Well, uh, years ago, I wanted to, just out of uh, seeing various tables and dining tables, I made one, uh, moving into a condo where you have limited space. Mm. Uh, I couldn't find any tables that fit the way I wanted them to, so I just decided to make my own and I wanted to make them look good. So I wanted to find that kind of fine line between art and function. Yes. And with each table, that's what I'm trying to do. Isn't that interesting? And do you find that the first table you made is like, yeah, no, we're gonna scrap that. And it just keeps getting better and better and easier and easier. Is that, would that be possible? Easier and easier, no, because you end up loading up more responsibilities nice. because you want to try new things. You want to do different Get things more with creative. the table. Definitely, like here, this is a uh, uh, burned uh, spalted maple. Uh, on steel piping, and then over here is the cottonwood with uh, slugs in it. Wow. Um, uh, shotgun slugs. So, oh, always that, interesting, lots of stories. How did that happen? Did you do that or did you get I don't want to get it into like it that. on TV. Oh. That wouldn't be appropriate. That's just like not. That. No, uh, but yeah, it's the a family show. <laughs> Let's keep it family. Let's keep it family. That's really interesting. Very, very beautiful. Yeah, and I like that. The, the interesting part is not just that it's wood and interesting wood because it's, it's not flat, sure. but the pieces underneath are really interested in as well. Yeah. It's, you know, it's not that you have wood legs, you've got piping right. going on. Right, it's steel piping, which is actually, uh, I really try to use that a lot because, A, I do like the cross function of wood and steel together. Also because it's malleable. I can make these legs in any sizes as well as um, you can level them regardless of the floor. So Sounds really great. good. Yeah, now, we're talking about functionality. Mm -hmm. Functional pieces, meaning things that we can use. Right. I think a lot of people appreciate that, as opposed to just having something that looks pretty. We want to be able to use it too. Absolutely, and that's what we try to do with the gallery. We try to have functional pieces that people can take home and they can use mugs and stuff like that. And the same with the bowls and the serving boards. Um, like this is a burnt, this is burnt in with electricity, but you can still use it as a serving board. You may want not want to cut on it, but you could still use it as a serving board. And it looks really burnt nice. in with electricity. I got to come close to that. So what he does is he puts uh, electrodes in it and then has one end and the other to two pieces. Of wood, and then he has electricity goes to each other, and, and then he stops it. Yeah. And then it burns through the wood. It burns so through the wood. So you don't want to wreck that, is the idea. That's right. So and then he seals it all up, oh and then God, does a little stain. Glorious! Oh wow. yeah, it's fantastic. It's such great ideas. We got shotguns on one table, which we're not talking about. <laughs> And electricity in that one. Yeah. That's really interesting. Love that salad bowl over there. Oh, this one? Is that yeah. that? Well, salad, I, I guess it could be a decorative bowl as well. This is one of our first artists, Larry Katz. He's from Ottawa. Okay. He's been with the gallery for about four years. So we've always had some wood products in the gallery. We're just starting to expand on it now. We have uh, seven now wood artists in the gallery. Wow. Uh, and a couple more coming on board over the next couple weeks. So. And if I, let's say I buy that bowl, mm -hmm. and I'm, like, I'm thinking, okay, you know what? I really do want to use it for food. Can you yes. guys tell me how to care for it? Because what I wouldn't want to do is put something in it, and then I wreck it. Well, the thing with the wood is you can just clean it with uh, mild soap and water. You don't want to soak it. You don't want to submerse it into the water Got and let it, it sit there and soak because then the wood will absorb some of the some of the uh, the water. That's really interesting. Before we talk about the rest of the things here, is it possible for me, let's say I look at your table, I think, you know yeah. what, my living room, I want one like this, but I need it twice as big. I need you to kind of double it, make it big. Can we have right. things that are custom made? Yeah, and that's the great thing with Michael and Trevor at Stonewall is uh, we came up with an idea where uh, if someone says exactly what you said, where they'd like that, but something in a different dimension, uh, they can talk to Michael and Trevor, we work out the dimensions, and then I go ahead with the piece. Uh, because we're working with wood, every piece is unique, which I Beautiful. think adds that value to it. Agreed. Uh, 
but because of that, uh, you're getting a unique piece that is functional art, and it's at uh, whatever dimensions that Trevor and Michael uh, talked to you yeah, about. Yeah, and we're supporting local, which is yeah, you know always a plus. I really it. enjoy yeah. that. All right, let's talk a little bit more about some of the items that you brought along okay. with you. Uh, this is another one of our artists, Havery Schultz. She's from Verona. She burns these in and then paints them in their candle holders. Wow. Um, she also has a little uh, little rack right here, a little these coat rack. These are really rack. adorable. Yeah, that'd be great for hanging your kid stuff right absolutely, back there. Absolutely, absolutely. It's functional, but in it also you have some art that you can put on your wall and you can use it. Yeah, and this would be just decorative. This one that says home, so yep, I think you could just hang that, somewhere. Yeah, and that's the the uh, Jen who does these boards. She also does the the home. Does the home decoration. So yeah. really, it could be something really small, yes. like your bow tie, yeah, bow and then tie. something quite large like tables as well. Come on in with us. Yeah, course, absolutely. Yeah. And one of our newest artists who will be in uh, this week, he actually makes sinks out of uh, stone. So he I takes see. a piece of stone and he wears it out so you can have make actually make a sink out of it. We'll have them on display by the weekend. So like a, a, an actual sink in an my kitchen bathroom sink kind of your, thing? Absolutely. Okay, They're now gorgeous. I need to see that. Wow, that's yeah. really beautiful. Yeah. All right, more artists over here. Yes, uh, this is another one. This is a live edge bowl. Uh, it's got the bark on it. Um, so it's a little bit different from, from these bowls. Got it. Uh, it's got a little bit more grain to it. A little bit more design that yeah, you can see. Yeah, a little bit see. more of the detail. And this, I'm guessing, is that other electric yeah. burnt he, yeah, he something does, or other, <laughs> yeah. which is really interesting to me. I love that. With the tea light holder. Really, really beautiful with the little light. All right, so now some people are watching us thinking, okay, A, where do I go to find your beautiful pieces? We're at uh, 370 Bank Street, uh, right at uh, Bank and Gilmer. Okay. Uh, again, we're at two levels. We have a main floor and we have our lower level. The lower level is shifting this week. And by Monday, we will have it completed. Um, and we're just bringing in a lot of more local work, a lot of more local artists. We're about, I think we're about 58 local artists right now. We should be up to about 75 by the end of the year. Wow. Um, and again, it's local, it's handmade, it's Canadian. I mean. I also like that if you are buying a larger piece that's a little bit more expensive, you do offer sort of a payment plan that absolutely. helps people out, right? Because sometimes all, you fall in love with something absolutely. and you just gotta have it. With all our fine art and all of our wood pieces over $500, we offer a three month no interest payment plan. Everybody should be able to afford art. I mean, you might not be able to afford it all in one shot, but we want to be able to make it so people can come in and get a nice piece for their house and be able to have something that they can sit there and enjoy for life. Is there a website where people can go to see either or of your of your artwork? We, are, we do have our website. It's stonewallwilds.ca. Okay. Um, it's in transition at the moment. All right. We'll, we'll be patient. We can do that. It will be coming up soon. Um, but yeah, we'll be putting all of our artists will be on there. So you'll be able to go and look at their profile pages and look at what they do. What, what do you, is there something you're crafting um, that? I have a website called mywoodtable.com. Got it. And there's uh, pictures of uh, all sorts of tables so it can give you an idea and you can go into Stonewall and see all, there's a, a lot of tables there to view wow. and then you can talk to Trevor or Michael if uh, you'd like something along those lines for sure. Very good. Very, very beautiful. Thank you so much Thank for you. sharing your crafts you. and the idea of visiting a really great gallery that's located in our city that has a whole lot of local artists. All right, it's time now to take a break and when we come back we're going to talk about adventures. You're going to want to stay with us. You're watching Daytime on Rogers TV.